All right, folks, Pachigan Ace 88, we are back playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. We're in the Dark Ages, heading on to Night 11. Now, this is going to be the introduction of the Wizard Zombie. The Wizard Zombie is the bane of my existence. I hate the Wizard Zombie. Due to the Wizard Zombie, you're definitely going to want a Cherry Bomb because those guys you got to get rid of them ASAP. What they will do is they will go down and they will turn one of your plants into sheep. What does it do when it turns into sheep? It basically allows the zombies to bypass that plant and go on to the next. So if you have a whole bunch of wizard zombies and they just decide to turn all of your plants to sheep, you are basically SOL. You are out of luck. So, strategy here is going to be to use the walnut, or the tall nut, the bonk choy, the spike rocks, and the cherry bomb, and the flume shroom, just to kind of take them out. Now that being said, you do have these annoying things called gravestones. As you guys have been watching my series, you'll notice that these gravestones pretty easily taken care of by a bonk choy by a great i mean you could use a plant on them uh my main strategy though is going to be using a bonk choy to kind of just take them out just punch them like this uh and just quickly take them out that being said you'll notice that as this gets farther and farther along it becomes more and more problematic to have your bonk choy that far back so you may have to readjust him readjusting him is going to take some time Great thing is Potato Mine is going to take that guy out. You got about 200 sun. Pretty fantastic. Basically meaning you are you are doing some damage, which is which is good. This is what you really want. Speed this up a little bit just to be able to get this guy to come a little bit faster. Great. We got a bucket head. This is not going to be fun. It's going to provide lots and lots of problems for us. Unless, of course, we put down a Potato Mine. So, the bok choys are really just going to be dictated by the gravestones, at least here in the beginning. And there we go. Now now all of our our sun shrooms have basically fully grown, so we're getting 75 sun pretty much all the time. So, you're doing if you can get this far, you're doing really, really well. Now, again, wizard zombie. Such a pain. Blow them up as quickly as possible. Please. It, it, you just you can't have him around for too long or else he will do too much damage to your plants the real problem with this is going to be again that that zombie the wizard zombie for the rest of the levels of the dark ages that wizard zombie is going to be horrible it's going to make you cry it's gonna make you want to do terrible terrible things to the game but if you try and use this strategy you should be able to do enough damage to him like right there see he just took away the spike rocks well the spike rocks are helping us out big time and now we got two of these guys watch luckily that one zombie is gonna get taken out and luckily when you do take him out it does uh, give you back all of your plants so you know you blow them up with the cherry bomb all of a sudden you have all of your tall nuts but if you didn't blow them up quickly enough you're basically just gonna keep struggling with this so again always be careful of that know that it is gonna be coming but I like to put the spite rocks all the way in the back just get them to do a whole bunch of damage you have you have plant foods you might as well use them um, I use them right there just to get rid of most of the helmet zombies uh, your, your uh, cherry bomb, make sure to wait until these guys are at least on the first tile. Or you can take out everyone else. But right here, you're going to notice a little bit of a problem when you have all of these... All these wizard zombies. Now what you can do <laughs> is you can just put your bok choys up here, which is great. The problem is, they'll take them out. Boom. 
Cherry Bombs takes him out. Now, bottom row. Great, great play. Take them all out. I think, you did, I think it was such a good play that they even gave you a diamond from it. Did that. Okay, help uh, uh, out in the top row. The plant food. Now, we got basically all of our plant food are good. It's the final wave. At this point, you are pretty much golden. Uh, but you do have a lot of these wizard guys. So, try and take as many of them out as you possibly can. Know that while you take them out, they're definitely going to keep doing what they're what that one zombie is doing and that is basically screwing up and making it almost impossible to do any damage so because of this your main focus is going to be to take out the wizard zombie however the wizard zombie is going to basically make it so that you can't do anything so your main your main damage right here is going to be the cherry bomb however you'll notice he basically takes away almost all of your plants that actually do the damage that you want them to be done like right there he just took your guy out I mean, what are you going to do luckily we can put the bonk choy place him down the other thing that that becomes a huge problem right here is you can't actually get rid of it when they are sheeps but anyways guys that's day or night 11 hope you guys all enjoyed this has been pitching 88 over and out